Hello everyone, nice to have you all back for another episode of our 107 channel. Today's topic, headlight beam range regulator is not working at this W124 300 CE 24 valves. We will check systematically the system step by step to find the broken part. We start right after introduction. Clean engine bay, I must say, very well kept, impressive actually. Left hand side, right at the far left of the housing is this violet in color, rather rigid vacuum line running from the engine bay underneath the brake fluid reservoir emerging from the dungeons of the bay close to the main brake cylinder to these three yellow ports. 3 ports for the vacuum lines. I explain later about these ports. Below here we got 3 vacuum lines, left and right, headlight and the main control vacuum line which is getting pressure from this intersection right here. We now follow that white line, this one here. Let me pull a little so you see the 3 yellow ports moving. See, air intake is right here. All three violet in color lines lead to the passenger cabin to that very control switch here. Let us start. Vacuum pump link to the tool is in the video description below. Useful and absolutely essential for such jobs. Please see enlarged picture and white arrow. This one needs to be disconnected. This adapter fits into various ports. Please see enlarged picture. We connect it with the headlight port now. We pump a vacuum, then I release and we have a look if the beam range has changed. To see a release and the left hand side light beam is getting shorter, therefore headlight assembly left hand side seems to be ok. I start pumping and you see light beam is getting longer. I release again and light beam is getting shorter. Covering panel has been removed. Control switch for beam range is next to the headlight switch. It has three incoming violet in color vacuum lines. In the center is the main vacuum line coming straight from the assembly of the three yellow ports in the engine bay. Two more lines for either left or right hand side headlight but when using the control switch nothing happens beam range does not alter maybe the control switch is broken provided all vacuum lines and the two headlight assemblies are functioning now let us check the control switch by using a vacuum line an extra piece that I could cut off elsewhere in the length of some 20 centimeters to bridge that control switch. I fire up the engine. Bridging vacuum line needs to be connected to the middle one of the three sockets and the other end to the left. Well, I forgot to reconnect the vacuum line. Embarrassing actually.
Let me reconnect that vacuum line. I can hear you guys laughing five miles off. I now unplug the vacuum line from the left port and the light beam is getting shorter. You see, if I reconnect the line, the beam is getting longer. What did we achieve? Found culprit, a broken control switch, which was probably not airtight anymore. Start checking the headlight assembly first, then step by step the vacuum lines with help of that vacuum pump to detect leakage you instantly see the reaction of shorter or longer beams by creating a vacuum or allowing more air pressure. Check all lines for cracks, sometimes rodents damage them as well. Happens mostly when these cars are being put away at winter for hibernation. In this case the problem was a broken control switch, they are easy to install. That covering panel can be detached easily, underneath you find three small screws that hold the assembly in place. Unbolt those and you can pull that switch towards you to disconnect and bridge the lines. See, these are the ports for these three lines right here. The center port is for the main line, left and right hand side ports for the appropriate lines for the headlights. When bridging the ports with some extra vacuum line of some 20 centimeters, you easily check the functioning of the lines. Forget about unbolting several covers to follow the lines by checking leakage. Sitting in the driver's seat or sitting, well, <laughs> with uh, bridge lines, the job is done easily. Remember, I'm lazy. The part number for the switch is in the video description below. My special thanks go to the owner of this car who gave the engine bay a diligent wipe and clean before handing it over to me. Hope to see you around next time for another episode. Bye bye everyone. <laughs>